spectacular as it looked? Uh, yeah, yeah, the building was pretty you know, uh, great. <laughs> but uh, I was concerned about it. Um, you know, you, you want to cut them in public. And I'm you know, looking like, okay, uh, it's not getting up. Um, so I was concerned, it got up, so I was able to enjoy it fully as it looked. Yeah, I noticed in the post fight you, you seem to all subdue and quiet and respectful. Is that, do you feel like that's how you normally are, or do you think that that was kind of a reaction to the pain and stuff like that? Um, say that again? In your post fight interview, you seemed a little um, more subdued, you were you know, respectful and kind of quiet. Was that because of that? It's great. Yeah, yeah. Misha is a, overall is a great opponent as far as just being in the sport. So, um, any, anytime you get two, you know, warriors in there, you know, and, and one of them don't get up, you know, it shouldn't be concerned, but I know I would. Um, but at the same time, this is a fight game. So, when he got up, yeah, I was, I was really... Did you say anything to him afterwards? No, no, he, he got to come to it, so as far as, like, saying anything to him, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. So, but, I mean, to... to if I can relay this message to him, great fight. Uh, you caught me, man. Uh, I had to really dig deep and, uh, and you know, pull it out. So, uh, it's good. Okay. How do you dig deep? Can you kind of explain that to someone who maybe has never had to experience that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you know, when things go bad, like you can punch an eye, you see three of them, or you know, the teeth is loose because you probably just headbutt you, or, you know, you just got a knee in the stomach. You gotta go, okay, uh, I'm gonna dig deep and not crumble. Uh, and just push forward. So, yeah, that's what digging deep is. When you imagine that fight, is that how you, you know, kind of expected it to go? Or do you have a different idea in your head of how it went? I don't know. No, I knew it would go somewhat like that. Um, I thought he would main probably shoot for a single leg, but he did. He, he went more for body locks. And, you know, I'm getting it out of those. So as far as like him catching me, that was a surprise. But uh, it, overall, yeah, exactly like I played. And I know you get in the cage, you didn't have a name. Do you have a name now? I know sometimes you get a thing right now for go. Oh, I should have said. Oh, a name. Yeah. Like, who's next? Oh, who's next? Uh, you know, me and Pat were working, uh, and whoever we work with. Uh, yeah. yeah. So. When uh, they call, I'll answer. Do you have a preference of when you fight next, or maybe where? And they're going out on the road a little bit more. Is there a, a location you'd like to find out? Yeah, anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Why? Why just the United States? Uh, you know, I think it's, it's fun fighting here. Uh, the, the crowd is always me, so I like to try to entertain them, meet people, and turn them nice. Thank you so much. I had to ask you about working with Pat. When you went over afterwards, you guys sort of congratulated and talked to each other and showed a lot of good emotion between you two of you. How, what's it like working with Pat? Ah, uh, man, the energy is phenomenal. Um, and uh, as far as this, him and I understanding that, it's just liberating. It's freedom for me to be exactly what I, I want to be, um, regardless of how the fight may go out or play. To, to go in there and just be exactly me and be prepared for that. You know. How big of a part of that is the fight game, do you think, to surround yourself with the right people that, that allow you to free yourself to get in there and do what you need to do? Uh, I think it's major. Uh, based on my experience, I think, I think it's major. I think uh, energy is always important. Um, so, me, I will, I will always want someone who's ready to you know, go out with me. And uh, with that, it's like, hey, I'm ready to, I'm ready to die for you, you're ready to die for me. So that's the relationship. I'm always coming to fight it. When you talked about your surprise, he caught, he, he caught you. There was that nice moment. He caught you, and then he threw a nice reaction back to him. That's probably where he caught you in the eye. How about that? You said you saw like three. Did it look, when I'm looking at your eye now, it definitely looks sort of ready to bust a blood vessel in or did you see blurry for a while? And how soon after that did it sort of recover? Oh yeah, he busted me up, and I've seen three of them the whole time. So, uh, yeah, dig deep. Yeah. <laughs> Aim for the one in the middle? Yeah, one of them. I punched at two of them, missed, and then finally I got the third one. And it looked like there was a 
good pace. He did try to take you down, but uh, he was never able to actually sort of get a hold of you. It looked like that was maybe a reaction to the power and maybe the fear of the hands that you were throwing. Did you expect him that that would probably be the case, that once you threw some hands, he was probably going to try to move in and try to get you to the ground or get your hands stop? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, assuming that I landed something to do with me grabbing um, but I think he was surprised based on grabbing me. Uh, I mean, that looks wrong. And then you look at your record, it looks like you always have some place to be after your fights because you always try to get out of there really quick. <laughs> Here's another one to have like this. Was part of game plan to go out there and try to push the pace really quickly and get that finish? I mean, do you think about like, oh, I need to get this finish in the first, or is it just a matter of you want to swarm your opponent and sort of just take over and not give them a chance to get established? Yeah, yeah, never, never rush or think about anything. Uh, I just have an instinct to fight and wherever that goes, it goes. It makes sure I'm in shape. Uh, yeah, that's, that's me. Congrats on the victory. Thank you. Okay, guys.